Hello and welcome to Infinity. Vectors are, in mathematics, they're things like weight, which is like a, a mass with direction, because the weight goes downwards, but mass is the same way if you're in space. In Affinity, they're basically just lines. So when we talk about vectors, we just mean lines. It's the same thing. And with this, you can draw these three tools here and I'm going to explain each of these in a separate videos. Um, but just as an overview of what they do is these can be used to create shapes. So if I click here with the pen tool, I create a little point called a node. And I connect other ones. And when I get back to the end again, they all join up. So I've now got a shape. This doesn't print. This blue line is just for me. It tells me where this shape is. So if I go up to here, I can fill it in. So I can click on this and say, let's have a yellow shape. The stroke there will give me the color of the outline if I want to put that in there. Then if I go up here, I can to move this around the place. So I can actually change the shape of it. And also, uh, very importantly, if I make this big, this stays curved. Whereas if I just make it small again for a moment and over here see this says it's a curve layer that means that's the way it's held it's held just as a shape which uses a lot less space which is great for smaller files but if I right click on that and say rasterize it turns now see it says pixel now if I make this larger if I zoom into the edge of this you can see the edge there it's pixelated it's stepped so that is because of that. So we can do a little bit of undoing and go back to having a curve there and so on. In here we have shapes. So I can right click on that and it's effectively the same thing but specialised shapes which you can vary. Again we'll show those more in, in detail. And down here I've got text. So I can put in a text here. I'll just, just put the letter P in. If I go to, if you like, the move tool up here, and I can still got the detail of it here, I can grab a corner, I can make it a lot bigger. I can also, up here, when it says convert to curves, see at the moment it's text. But if I click on curves, it changed to curves again, like this layer underneath. So now if I right click the pen tool and go to the node tool, nodes are just corners. So now I can take any of these here and change this shape and see these little ones here. I can actually change the whole thing. So in other words, when you've got a curve, you can reshape it and also change the shape of the curve. So it, it lets you get very precise. It's useful for all kinds of things. So there you go. That's broadly what you have with shapes uh, and lines. So lines create the outline of a shape. Shapes, uh, they stay smooth if you make them bigger and smaller. There are nodes on them like this, which form corners, which can change it. You can change the fill here, which is the color inside. So this is a black inside, so the fill is black. And stroke is the color of the line on the outside, which you can also change. And this one here gives you all sorts of things you can do. There's lots of other things you can you can do with these things. I will cover these in future videos, but this is just to give you an overview of what nodes are, and sorry, lines and vectors and all that lot are. So we're going to go in detail later on in other videos on these things here. So there we go, that's it for now, and hope that's useful, and thank you very much for watching.